last time I got my nails done was probably August. I think it was August. I literally think it was August. And it's now the end of October. Which is technically, no, like actually I'm going to make this story so short. I could have gotten them done a lot sooner. I went out of town. I went out of town and it got to the point where like my nails were getting so long like my extension because i just kept i get gel x so i just keep getting fills they were getting so long that like my spatial awareness was really like off and i just kept hitting my hand and my nails on stuff and i'm like all right i just need to get these soaked off because my natural nail was so long and healthy and just for a little bit of context i know like this is gonna make sense in a second but i know what my nails look like after a soak off like not only do I, I do my own gelix toes i've been doing them for years i know the application about the fills about the soak off the products used the techniques also my current nail girl she's done like two soak offs on me and afterwards my nails were like rock solid hard so healthy granted i'm also an avid nail biter so that was like the longest my nails have ever been like they were as long as the extensions damn near i go to a nail shop to get them soaked off because i'm like oh like they can't fuck up a soak off how do you fuck up a soak off it's 100 percent acetone cotton balls and some goddamn tin foil in 10 minutes that's all you need when i say i was bleeding all over the table my hands were crispy my nails were like non-existent like <laughs> i was so mad i was furious in that fucking shop granted i don't I was gonna say I didn't show it. I really don't remember because I damn near blacked out because I was like trying so hard not to custom clean out. Because it was like, what? It was like, how do you fuck up? Like, why am I bleeding on the table? Because she cut my. Oh, when she was cutting off the extensions, oh my god, she cut my fucking finger. Like, she cut my fucking finger and it hurt so bad. I'm bleeding all over the table. There's acetone in my, like, in my cut. Like, oh my god and then no this is actually what like pissed me clean off when and i'm gonna insert a picture it's gonna be a little gross but what are you gonna do you know but, like my pads of my fingers started peeling because of how dry they were from the acetone i don't know what the fuck she used to the point every single night i had to slather my hands in a very thick lotion and shea butter and vaseline to the point where when i woke up my hands were completely dry again i'm in i'm in a rough shape so yeah i'm like been waiting for this fucking moment because she had my my regular nail girl she had my nails at such a good place like they were the longest and healthiest they've ever been even when i did get my soak offs i didn't bite them but i fucked up and got a soak off but i didn't think i didn't think they were gonna fuck up a soak off oh whatever you live and you learn there's a thrift store about 15 minutes from there so i'm gonna be gonna go thrift a little because i haven't thrifted in a minute like i don't mind if i don't leave with anything i just need to walk around the thrift store i'm really itching for it let's see how these look okay Ooh. <sighs> oh my gosh it's actually not bad i only had it in for like an hour <sighs> hopefully that looks good she see money all around me i look like i'm the man yeah, yeah. but i was done up like last week tell me where have you been This thrift just made up for the absolute brutal drive here. I got so much good stuff for $62, $62.45. So much stuff. And it's like so many thick, good sweaters. I'll show you after my nail appointment. It's 2.14. I was in there for like an hour and a half, which is so crazy because I set a timer on my watch just, you know, just to be sure because I barely pick up my phone when I'm in there. I had just picked up my phone at one point. Why was it? Why was I already like 40 minutes in? And it felt like it was like five minutes. And I didn't even get through the whole. I did. I got only like sweaters. 
I didn't even get to look at the jeans. I didn't get to look at the hood. Like, oh my gosh, I'll definitely be back. That was crazy. It is so. I wish I had time. My hands feel freaking crazy. I wish I had time to grab something to eat. It's already 2.15. It's gonna take 15 minutes to get there. I might just have to tough it out until after the appointment. I think I brought an applesauce. Did I bring an applesauce? Oh, my electrolyte applesauce. These are so good. These little like electrolyte go-go squeezes are so good. I get them from Sam's Club. Oh my gosh. I hope my nails are cute. I'm supposed to hang out with Sandra tomorrow. Because, well, what is today? Today's the 25th. Tomorrow's the 26th. I think most people are doing like Halloween stuff this weekend instead of next weekend. There's a bar crawl that happens on West 6th Street every year. And I kind of convinced her to go. But then, I don't know. I have been not in like a drinking club mood. Like if you were to try and get me to go to a club right now, if you thought Alessia Car was bad, you would not want me in that bitch at all. I promise. Like I would not want to be there. I would be no fun. So I told her, I was like, I kind of felt bad, but I was like, hey, like, how would you feel like baking cookies at your house, watching movies, getting dressed, taking pictures, and going out to dinner? She was like fucking perfect. She was like perfect. Like that sounds ideal. So I'm so happy because I'm like, I can't stomach a drink right now. Oh, but my point of saying that was my nails, I'm gonna be a beanie baby. I'm gonna be a beanie, a beanie baby for Halloween. I have the doll that I'm gonna like be dressing up as and I think it's so cute. It's like a little cheetah doll or like a leopard. Um, and she has pink like sparkly eyes, a pink like sparkly chest and my nails are gonna match. That was the whole point of that. My nails are gonna match. I'm gonna have like, I'm not gonna do leopard nails. I'm doing like kind of brown tiger stripe, even though I'm dressing up as a leopard, but just the whole animal print idea. Oh, I feel brand new. Put my rings on. I brought my rings just for this freaking occasion. Oh. oh my gosh, like, oh my goodness. Like every single time. Oh, this is so good. Every time I would like laugh, I would be like, my nails aren't done. Like, there's no point. Like, nothing's funny. <laughs> my nails aren't done. Like, it was like ruining my fucking month, damn near. I wasn't letting it fully ruin my month, but like, every time I was having a good time, in the back of my mind was like, damn, my nails aren't done. Like, yeah, like, this moment's great, but having my nails done would make it even better. Like, oh my gosh. Ugh. Now, let's order my fucking food. Ew, did I like lose weight in my thumbs? Why are you not fitting? Let me find out. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Oh, yes. My ring watch. Okay, let's order my food. What else, what other food do I like? I don't know. I'm just gonna get sheets. I literally have no fucking clue. I couldn't tell you. Oh, my nails are done. If my nails weren't done right now, I'd be having a bitch fit that I was so hungry. I would actually not be this calm. I'm telling you, like, <sighs> it's whatever. They have a drive-thru? I'm about to pay. I don't know whose card this is in my stuff, but they're paying for my meal today. Well, it went through. I don't know who's, sorry. <laughs> like, don't leave your card in my stuff. People will put their cards in my stuff. And I'm always like, hey, if you, you, if you put your card in my stuff, delete it out, delete it out. Cause I, I don't, I'm not, I don't know the last four digits of like whose card is who. Like I am not Jesus. I do not know the last four digits of everyone's card number, y'all. Can I keep track? Have a good one. Thank you, you too. Thank you. Okay, how do I get home? How do I get home from here? Mm. I'm so glad I got these little handheld. What the fuck? Mmm. Dude. Hey. Oh my God, it's so good. I'm gonna try and wait to eat the sandwiches until I get home. Cause I really don't like eating in the car. These little like 
steaks are good. They're like um like loaded potato sticks. As you can see, I'm in completely different clothing because I'm editing this video right now. Like, I don't know if you can see my editing setup. You can't. I'm literally done editing the video and the clip of me show you my little thrift haul is gone. It's not gone because it's I can see it on the camera. I can see the the preview of it on the camera. But when I go to import it from my external hard drive, it just keeps saying media lost beyond me. Therefore, I will be redoing it and showing you right now. The other one was a try on haul. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not trying this stuff on. Love you. Can't try this on. I can't. I want to shower and go to bed so bad. I can't. I would actually pass out and die. First, this purple sweater. I don't own anything purple because I don't like how purple looks on me. Usually purple is very stark. I don't understand. But this is so cute. It's almost like when I was in the store, I almost passed it up because in my peripheral, I just saw like a big white fluffy sweater and I'm like, ugh, like I don't like how I look in stark white either. But then I actually glanced at it and I'm like, oh my gosh, really light purple. And you can kind of tell how it would look on me. So cute. I'm probably going to wear this to work on Thursday. Oh, this is three days later, by the way. Next, this green sweater. Love this sweater. Ooh, wait, I gotta see it again it's so nice it's a little cropped which i should have noticed in the store because it's very obvious now that i'm like holding it up like this like the arms are literally longer than the actual torso but i still really like it and it's still really cute on i love the silhouette of it though in a way it kind of gives like the akimbo hoodie type of vibe i got quite a few sweaters i did not get to go through that store the way i wanted to i have to go back soon this really cute brown scarf. Wait, would this match this? Oh, <gasps> wait, this would match this. How, I don't know how to wear a scarf. <laughs> I don't know how, I don't own scarves really. So I don't, wait, is that kind of cute? Let me know. I'm like looking in my mirror. This is, I don't know. With some Uggs and a coat? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I think that ate. I was a little iffy about her. A little iffy about her, but I'm trying to branch out a little more. I'm trying to branch out. So I got this really cute pink cardigan. Very cute baby pink. I think I would wear it with dark denim. Just, just to make me more comfortable because I love darker clothing. Oh yeah, tell me that would it E. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you well. Like, uh oh. This is why people do try on hauls, huh? Like, imagine. I can't look up or else the pink will fall, will fall down. But like, ooh, wait, I gotta look in the mirror. Ugh, it's not coming out right. But I swear, this would look so cute with this. I think this would look cute with this. I don't know, mm, let me know. This one might be my second favorite right behind the purple sweater look at this it's like a neapolitan fake ass north face it's not a north face i don't know what brand this is it's athletic works maybe a walmart brand it could be a walmart brand i have no clue but it's so cute i think this is so adorable <gasps> I don't know what I would wear this with or when. Probably just some leggings. Literally just to like throw on and go. Nothing crazy with some Uggs. Just for an everyday little fall sweater. Shut up. Oh my gosh. I told myself I was going to stop grabbing random little shirts <laughs> in the thrift. Because I really want to get into uh, actual pajama sets. I ordered a real pajama set and not just like a big tee and some like boy shorts and it's the comfiest thing i've ever like the way i keep rewashing it and keep rewearing it i need more sets but i think i would wear this one outside actually so i wouldn't even sleep in this one it's a gray cowboy shirt i thought it was going to be a little lighter of a wash of a gray wash under those thrift store lights it definitely looked like a heather gray not like this darker gray but i'm not mad at it i really liked it because the actual cowboys part has this pinstripe 
I don't know if it's gonna come off on camera well. I don't know if you can tell, but it has this really light, thin pinstripe look. I think that is so cute. Just with some leggings and to like work out in. I don't even know, I don't even know. Next, this has nothing to do with fall or winter, but I couldn't pass these up. These little shorts, <gasps> and they fit so well. I don't have a pair of dark denim shorts. I barely have any de denim, any good denim shorts anymore. And I'm really trying to get that going. I know summer just left, but I feel like it's so hard to shop for summer. So I do it whenever I can, no matter what the season is. Cute little black Nike shorts. These were on sale. So nice. They also have little spandex under them, which is really nice so that my butt doesn't pop out. Where's the other pair of Nike shorts? These are my favorite. These white Nike Tempos. I used to have a pair, but I grew out of them because they were like an extra small. They were like a, or like a double extra small. No, can't anymore. I ended up selling them. So I'm so happy that I was able to get another pair because I love them. And I got it for the cheap, for like $5. She's snatching too. This is a Nike tank top. I wore it. I wore it the other day. So it has deodorant stains on it. I had to get it out the dirty clothing just to like show you. So don't laugh at my deodorant stains. Stop. <laughs> I got this Nike tank. She's so snatching. That is not even funny. But once you put it on and kind of kind of work around in it, it's pretty comfortable. It was really cute with the white shorts, especially for like a little workout set. Mm, super cute. Last but not least, this actually might be my favorite item and I need you to hear me out because it's kind of ugly at first, but I'm going to explain the vision. I got this. This is a vanilla sugar shirt. Oh my gosh. And it's so cute. I think the graphic is so adorable. I love the vanilla sugar bejeweling on it in the front. This is what the back looks like. And the shirt's kind of awkward. It's very awkward actually. So I'm planning on making this into a tube top. I love a tube top. A tube top hates to see me coming. I will make any shirt into a tube top. I would like cut it off right here because I still want the bejeweling and everything. Like, can you see the vision of the tube top? It's okay. But I love the design. I love the pattern. I like how funky it is. And it's such a funky little weird color. I don't know. But I think the gems really got me. The gems got me good. If, they, if this didn't have the gems, I actually, I probably wouldn't like it as much, to be honest. That's either here or there. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the video. I love my new nails. <gasps> I love them. Maybe you can see them better. I don't know if you were able to see them too good in the car. Sometimes she like does like a mix and match where like different fingers will correlate with other fingers. I don't know. But this time they just mimic. Oh, first of all, look at the flowers, please. But can you see how detailed? Like I love the structure of the flowers. Oh my god. And then she airbrushed the pink on. I was like, girl. Every single time that I get my nails done, I'm like, oh, maybe I can do my nails myself. Like, because I like I said earlier, I think I do my gelix toes. I do my own toes. But granted, I only do like pink. <laughs> I only do like 866 soft tulips in the D D or like a white French white French tip or or just white toes like it's one of those three and usually it's just the four white toes so it's like really easy really simple no designs when it comes to my nails i love a design i love a design like i don't think i would ever be a plain french tip plain nail person i don't know so it's like i can't do it because it takes her so long to do my nails. It takes like two hours, 45 minutes to do my freaking nails. And it's like, when she does her own nails, it takes her double the amount of time. Just cause you're doing it yourself. You have to do your other hand. You have to do your non-dominant hand. It's like a whole process that I'm not willing to go through. I'll pay. And I feel like, I'm sorry, $120. I feel like that's not bad for these. $120, I'm paying $120 to get exactly what I want. I have no problem with that. It would be different if I'm paying $120 and I'm like, eh, like, okay, like, 
I don't like this, this, and that, but like overall I like it. Like, or I have some critiques. I have no critiques with her ever. Like she gets the plot. First of all, no, because that's what blew my mind. I told her, like when I first went to her, um earlier this year, I told her how I don't how like I don't how like wait what? I don't how, am I having a stroke? I don't like how plain white looks on me. Like no matter if it's clothing, if it's my nails, if it's something about stark white looks so funny on me and I don't know why but because I'm a cool undertone I don't know if that has to do anything with it but she did like this is crazy how like you see how like the the tiger print is like white and brown it's that is not white that is very 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 pale pink that's not white but on me it looks white so imagine if I had bright white nails this would look insane I would look insane and like she just gets that she gets me like she understands like oh my gosh i don't think i could ever do my own nails i love a design i love like eccentric intricate nails like i'm not doing this fucking line work especially when she pulled out that airbrush i'm like hell no i'm not i'm not about to airbrush my own nails what do i look like the fuck i could understand people who do their own nails when it's like a plain french tip i mean anybody who does their own nails like literally power to you actually like literally like you deserve something i don't know what but you deserve something in life great things great amazing things like if i was doing like plain black french tip plain plain french tip just nude base color yeah i could definitely do that i'm not doing no design i'm not pulling out no airbrush i'm not I'm not about to mold these 3D flowers onto my nails. Absolutely not. I'm not doing that myself. Like at some point, I need her to do this. And I'm, I'm already expecting the cost to be like 200 and that's okay. That's gonna have to be okay. But those are so freaking pretty. This is why I love design. I love my nails. <gasps> I can't stop looking at them. I feel like me again. Yeah, like. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna go. I am so exhausted. I look, you can't wait till Halloween's over. I'm really just doing this for the pictures. I'm just doing this for the pictures. Really quick, I'm just gonna show you. I'm just gonna show you. Since I'm since I'm splitting the videos up. I'm just gonna show you this is this is who I'm gonna be this is me if you even care like literally and I I'm gonna make this I have to that's why I have to go to Michael's I need to get some of that I need to get some pink ribbon sparkle I gotta go love you love you bye